Welcome to The Voice of Reason. It's your humble host, The Voice. I think we have an interesting video for you today about a possible continuity error. Let's jump in. What we're going to be looking at today is I think I found a small little nugget, a continuity error. Now, where this kind of starts is season two, episode five. We see Mando talking to Paz Vizsla and Paz Vizsla asks him, how did you come into possession of the Darksaber? Where did you come upon the Darksaber? As we know, Paz Vizsla, family, House Vizsla, he thinks he's probably the true, uh, truest, or the family with the most history behind the Darksaber right now. So it makes perfect sense why he'd ask Mando, hey, why, how the heck did you get the Darksaber? And Mando tells him very clearly he fought Moff Gideon, which was an unreal fight. Whooped his ass. Uh, he fought Moff Gideon with the spear, the Beskar spear that he got from Ahsoka, and defeated him. And then when Paz Vizsla asks him, and this is the continuity part, when Paz Vizsla asks him, did you kill him? Did you kill him? And Mando says, no. He's like, no, I didn't kill him. And he answers, he says, he's going to be tried by an Imperial court, right? I defeated Moff Gideon. <laughs> But he was sent off to the New Republic for interrogation, and he will face justice for his crimes. So I think that's super important, that part right there, because it shows that Paz Vizsla is like, why the heck didn't you kill this guy? He's responsible for so much death and destruction <laughs> on our planet. And the armor even backs him up in this. He's like, she comes in, she's like, yes, he is responsible for all of this. Death would have been justice for his atrocities. This is true. The blood of millions of our kind is on his hands. Man was a little bit naive thinking, oh, well, he's in an imperial tribunal. They're obviously going to deem that he's guilty and then they're going to execute him. And then he will be executed for his crimes by the New Republic tribunal. And then the armor says something that I think is super important that will come back on another episode or in another part of the story. She just says, we shall see. It's clear they're showing this part or this dialogue is important because you would even have to include it. And remember, everything matters. Watching a murder mystery film and you're trying to work out who done it. One of the lead characters walks into the room and puts their keys down on a table. Now, if that moment wasn't significant, it would have been shot like this on a wide. And everything matters. And the keys would have played no part in the rest of the story. However, if those keys were a clue, it would have been shot like this. And that's the editor letting us know that those keys matter. As viewers, when we watch a film or a YouTube video, we look to find meaning in what's being said and done. So and this is the scene that they have right after the little shootout between Mando, Grief Karga, and the pirates. And Grief Karga opens up and he says, look, we have a clear problem with policing in Navarro. And he mentions that Cara Dune is now gone after she handed over Moff Gideon. She got promoted. That's kind of their way of... Anyways. Indo, in season one, episode three, he asks Grief Karga, where is Moff Gideon? And Grief Karga is the person offering the answer of he's with an Imperial Tribunal. And in that scene, we see Mando shake his head like, oh, what the hell? Why is he in a tribunal? What about Marshal Dune? After she brought in Moff Gideon, she was recruited by special forces. And what came of Gideon? Uh, he was sent off to a new Republic war tribunal. So? When he himself said that in the previous season or in the book of Boba Fett, that he's in the tribunal and they will decide his fate. Did you kill him? No. But he was sent off to the New Republic for interrogation, 
and he will face justice for his crimes. So I thought it super interesting and I thought it was a continuity error until I started thinking about it a little bit deeper. They have to bring all the viewers that didn't look outside of the Mandalorian up to the same speed, right? And the one way of doing that is including dialogue of somebody important that likely is going to be coming back, right? So I think the whole point of this scene of Grief Karga now telling Mando that Moff Gideon is in an Imperial Tribunal, that that's what's actually letting us know that he's going to get off. And the reference to how he's going to get off is using the armorer's words herself. We'll see. So then he will be executed for his crimes by the New Republic Tribunal. We shall see. Now, do you think that was a continuity error? Do you think it was put there on purpose? Let me know. Super excited to read the comments. And you know what? I'll check you on the next one.